build is start and this is the part three of building an AI model for classifying dogs and cats images. Most probably this will be the last tutorial for this series. So without wasting any time, let's get started. I've already uh, written the rest of the code and so because it takes a lot of time to compile and do that, I cannot pause the video and that that's that happens. So I've written all the code already and this is the result what I got and that looks like a dog let me zoom that in a bit okay that looks like a dog so that's dog I'm pretty sure that's dog I don't think so that's cat that's dog is it dog or cat I don't know that's dog no cat so dog 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 cat so one wrong got what the heck is that now come on I cannot see that most probably that's dog, maybe cat. So this is a dog. So two wrong. Another that's wrong. This this dog, the dog, this cat, this cat. So four wrong out of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So a pretty good thing. But I have one idea. But uh, before moving on to that idea, let me just show you what I did. So over here we wrote the wrote this code. It was training. Then we saved. Oh, if you get the error like list index out of range after running this code, this cell, uh, there's a pretty good guy over here on GitHub TF Learn issue 360. He wrote a code of is it's another code, but it's related to TF Learn. What he got is list index out of range. And this fellow, this thanks to him, he said, for from my experience, this error usually happens when you run the notebook cell for multiple times. Try restarting the kernel, and to run it again, every time you build the network, you have to restart the kernel. Or otherwise, the code will try to adding layers to it. Hope it helps. And it did. Thanks for uh, for Demi5, whatever you are. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. So that was my case. So I r did that. I will because it will take some time, but I was in a hurry to make a video and I got the output. But you, what you need to do is train more and more to get better output. And some images it didn't recognize it's a cat. So let me just tell you what I did. Import matplotlib.pyplot as plt is a library to actually graph these images. We use this library to actually graph um, like x axis and y axis. Test data equals to process data. We are calling uh, this function using this variable, which was over here. Process test data, which we did in our first part of the tutorial. Mm, so that okay, that was it. And then we figured out plt dot figure. We are talking about this figures. Then for num uh, space data and enumerate. Enumerate means to do one by one. Okay, so we in Python means it will it's gonna return all the data values and one by one. Okay, it's gonna return the data values one by one, like ones and zeros, ones and zeros, and all. Test data equals twelve. I want twelve samples. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve. That's good. Image num. So data equals to one. If one means image num. So one for dog and uh, image data equals data for zero, of course for the cat. Y equals a fig dot add subplot three four num plus one. Original equals to image data. What I want is original images of the data. So this is not for cats and dog, but we are calling that image data the data into a uh, zero value. If we got cat images we wanna throw them to this array of data. So that's what it is. So original data equals to image data. Data equals to image dot data dot reshape every. So it's not going to focus only on cats images, but also dogs. So image dot reshape all the images in a perfect square, like fifty by fifty image size. Came from over here. Came from here. Let me show you this. Image dot uh, image size equals fifty. So I want them to be fifty by fifty of perfect square. Now it's not a perfect square, but we made it a perfect square. So model dot out. I want to uh, model output to model dot predict equals to data. So that array will be in data. I want 
uh, one sample so we are actually uh, we are actually um, classifying one image one by one image so at that point we need zero Im elements we are classifying we are listing one type of element so we are uh, uh, putting a zero in that array if np argmax equals if mp argmax equals to model out whatever np argument will be will be the model output if the uh, np dot argument equals to model output which will be equal to zero if it is equal to zero one sorry so i want them to label it as dog else if is, uh, if it's zero i want to name that as a cat so why dot m show i want to actually this gray colors uh, i want to actually make these old pictures uh, in gray color instead of making it colorful because if I make it as colorful, it it does not show the image like in a really good side. Let me show you how images I'm talking about. So what uh, so what you see over here is a really um, you know colorful image of a dog with some black eyes, which is due to reflection. It's, it it uh, it it seems to be it's green or blue, whatever it is. Black nose and white uh, sorry brown uh, face, but in that this is the normal case of JPEG, but when it comes to uh, to over here in graph, it shows a really ridiculous combination of colors. Like the whole c image will be blue, and some of the sharp edges will be green. So that will be really, really Im almost impossible for my model to detect it. So as my model do not have that much of training losses, I got a really high amount of loss. So that's not what I want. So why dot I'm sure the original CM will be gray. So original data, whatever picture is, it's gonna be gray. And I want to title them as whatever title comes, whatever whatever the uh, output comes. I want to just label that. At, I want to make that as a title. I just want, don't want to label them, but I want to be that. I want to make it as title of that particular picture. So y axis dot to just make it visible in front of you and plt dot show to show all the images at last finally and then when you uh, just uh, write this and uh, and just uh, you know write the whole code you will again get this uh, loading bar as we as we had last time over here so over here I want to quit I want to show you this really small thing if you have loaded your data that's good and if you have, if you want to do that again, uh, just uh, do it. Train data equals to np dot load the train data dot npy. So you don't need to load your training data again and again. So what I did over here, you can do the same thing over here. It has loaded your test data. It means you, it has uh, your model has trained through the training data. Now you want to test your model on a testing data, so that's why it has twelve thousand five hundred images, and few few of them are wrong, but pretty good results. And over here, I'm gonna show you a trick. Maybe that's gonna work, but let's just try that. Or maybe not, because it will take some take a lot of time. I'm gonna explain you in depth. So this is not the last part. Two point one is gonna come. Okay, so 1.1 is there for a quick update. So this is part two, and the 2.1 will come really soon. So that was it. Thanks for watching. If you really want this code to be written on your notebook, just uh, let me show you. So one, two, three. Take a screenshot. One, two, three. Done. One, two. Three done. One, two, three done. One, two, three done. This is the whole code. This is actually a really a large amount of code. See, so yeah, I hope you have seen this. It's a pet. Model is good to go. If you want to really want this code, check out my previous tutorial, part one. It's about sixty minutes. One hour. It's it's one hour actually but it's really helpful for you that was it so thank you all guys please like share and subscribe to my channel and please download my game I really need some download download
there's no downloads you know so thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you will be updated if my any new video comes up so thanks bye good night happy flying happy programming be imaginative it's more important than knowledge I'm gonna sleep now bye